going to dive into this topic today, Luciferianism. Uh, obviously, it's a big $10 word, but you can see the root of it is Lucifer. Yeah. And while Christians largely ignore the spiritual battle we wage, and we talk about that all the time, Ephesians mm-hmm. 6, mm-hmm. the satanic global elites are actually strengthening their own religious fervor in these last days. Um, so in order to understand the enemy, we really must understand its origin. Okay. While names have changed, ultimately, the demon-controlled leaders of the nations and their internal agencies, the World Economic Forum, the World Health Organization, NATO, the IMF, International Monetary Fund, Mm -hmm. and what we have been often referring to, and we didn't coin this phrase, I think Eisenhower coined it, the military-industrial complex. Yeah. Uh, they're all part of a religion called Luciferianism. Mm-hmm. And remember, when we say something like the military-industrial complex, um, we're not talking about rank-and-file honest patriots who want to serve their country. No. We're talking about the top brass, upper political machinations of these. Mm-hmm. Well, lately, it seems like they're all a bunch of transgendered, cross-dressing <laughs> Socialist. That, that's who they're putting in front of a microphone. Yeah, yeah. But don't, but don't they make policy decisions for the sure. Pentagon? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we're, we're talking about the the high up muckety muck, and the people that control them. Yeah, exactly, because it's all about wars and never ending war, so they can just move money. Exactly right. Mm-hmm. So today, John, we're going to explore how Luciferianism got a foothold in America. And grew through its root, uh, 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 even though its roots go back to a far more ancient time. Okay. All right. And obviously, for us, America is the focus because that's my country, my upbringing. Fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will uh, sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. And incidentally, the mount of the congregation or the mountain of God is Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So back last week or two when we talked about the red heifer and Jerusalem being the mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots, uh, that's one of the proof of that is because Lucifer through his son, the Antichrist, wants to be on the Mount of God still, Okay, which is Jerusalem. And we know that Lucifer has to be Satan because of what he's aspiring to here, right? Absolutely, and how it's echoed in his son, the seed of the serpent, and Mm -hmm. how uh, other scriptures tie into that. In fact, the very next scripture we're going to read in Luke chapter 10 refers to this fall. He says uh, in verse 12, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's say we don't know who Lucifer is. We have no clue. But whoever this person is, he fell from heaven. Okay. We know that. Yeah. Because we just read it. Well, in Luke 10, Jesus said in verse 17, well, let me read the whole passage. And the 70 whom Jesus sent out returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name, because they were casting out devils. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Hmm. Well, that connects us back to Lucifer. Yeah. He draws a direct connection by the statement. He doesn't mention anybody else falling from heaven. So it has to be Lucifer hmm. Satan. You know, just logic. God yeah, so, so you can't say it's one of the other fallen angels, right? Because they willfully came down. Is that correct? Well, they all when, did willfully. They all did this willfully. But yeah. when he says fallen from heaven here, he's not talking about them choosing to come and take wives of Genesis 6. Okay. This happened before that. Okay. But it's a similar fall, if gotcha. you will. Yeah. Uh, in, in this case, it was like, I would argue what, where you're going with this, and I think I, I get where you mean. Lucifer or Satan was cast out by God. Yeah. The fallen angels of Genesis 6 chose to leave their own habitation yeah. to exactly. become able to procreate with women. Would that be fair? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Good. So I'm glad you brought that up because there is a big distinction. Yeah. yeah. 